besides the question of whether this entire contraption will be able to support itself. You know, there's a couple of hitches that we have to straighten out, but, but things are going good. Final morning of the bill. The sun rises, but Terry does it. Weld monkey, weld monkey, arise, arise. Great way to wake up, huh? Terry can't hit snooze on that alarm clock. There's too much to do. And while he emerges from his slumber, Mike drives up to the shop with the air tracks wheels. And it's time to kick this project into high gear. All right, man. How's it going over here? Holy jeez. Quite a contraption, huh? It's huge. So the latest is that we've got our first high lift cylinder installed, got it all lined up, and the next step is to go around and do the, the last three. All right, well, I got your air tracks wheels for you here. Let's check it out. <laughs> got, a, got a forklift or a crane? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the heavy wheel assemblies are offloaded, and the entire team gets to work. There's no time to lose. Joe arrives with the sensors and electronics. Hey. Oh, that is awesome. <laughs> you came just in time. And finally, the whole team's here to integrate the high lifter, hydraulics, Coming to life. Nice. electronics, and wheels. Kind of snug, huh? <laughs> It's time to hit the streets. Open it up, guys. Got this baby out in the world, finally. Look how low it's riding. Yeah. It's awesome. <laughs> oh! Oh, God! Oh, <laughs> yeah! What a beast! Oh. Woo! <laughs> there goes our baby. Yeah, will it make it? Kevin heads towards the island where, with any luck, he'll rendezvous with everyone else. Not as much suspension as the truck had when it rolled off the assembly line, but still drivable for the record. And it survives the journey intact for its first tryout as the traffic buster. Made it. You guys ready for some testing? Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Make it go. For the truck to pass this last test, the four posts must unfold, and the omnidirectional wheels must all be squarely on the ground. It's awesome. Look how cool it is. I like it. Oh. Oh, yeah, man, cool. Next, Joe must make sure that his video game controller can drive the truck. All right, we're going to go forwards. Yeah! Oh, look at that. <laughs> look at that. <laughs> and now we're going left. How good is that? How good is that? Awesome. Next step is to bring it up to a, a medium height with these kind of training wheel style cables on there. It'll keep the thing from splaying out and doing the splits. We'll run it through its paces, see how it responds. With the electronics operational, the next phase of the test is the most important one. Will the ton of steel that's been added to the truck allow it to achieve liftoff? Or will it fold up like the flimsy jacks? Basically, it's putting a huge force into the frame of the truck, and we don't know whether or not the truck frame can handle it. Coming up. Just to let you know, we're all counting on you. <laughs> will the first traffic-busting prototype rise to the challenge? Find out next. The team at Prototype This is at the end of a two-week attempt to end gridlock by building a car ready to both drive over traffic and self-park over another car. They're in the midst of a white-knuckle make-or-break test for the traffic buster. There she goes. To the moon, Kevin. <laughs> I love it. They're off there a little bit. Oh, my God. That is all the way up. It achieves maximum height <laughs> and doesn't even stretch the safety cables. Here we go. 
the moment we've all been waiting for. <laughs> it's sturdy, yeah. moves sideways, and is ready to roll out to the public. See you there. And moments after the tires hit the ground, the world's first traffic-busting truck drives off. Howdy, officer. And right away, it's raising eyebrows. What is that? It's a, it's a traffic busting car. It's got omnidirectional wheels and it can lift up over the top of another car. Get it? No, seriously. What do you use that for? Um, getting out of traffic jams, parking where there's no space. The traffic buster has multiple features and the team wants to pit each one against real traffic conditions. But first, Kevin can't resist showing off the Transformer style truck. <laughs> Kevin, they want to see it folded up. <laughs> How crazy is that? And voila! See? <laughs> Great driving. I'm on! Now it's down to business. Starting with the robotic self-parking feature. Over to Joe and Zaz. We're now at the Embarcadero on a real city street for a test of the automatic parking system on the truck. Just like with the Omni couch, we're going to pull up near an open slot, get out of the car, and let it just slide its way in there automatically. All right. I've Make got the magic key. Itself. The magic key. You ready? Key. Is it going to work, guys? Right. Oh, jeez. I want to get out of the way. <laughs> We've got the wide-angle stereo sensor to make sure we're aligned. Stop, stop, stop! <laughs> We've got the infrared sensors to look for the gap between the other two cars. And then as we slide in, the ultrasonic sensor detects the curb and tells the vehicle when to stop. Just like the couch. <laughs> Wait, is it going to hit the curb? It slides right in. <laughs> <laughs> it's sticking out on the street a little bit. Isn't it supposed to go blip, blip when it's done? <laughs> The traffic buster successfully parks in difficult spaces at street level, but our team wants to set the bar higher. Worked flawlessly, but of course this is the simple case where you already have a parking spot to park in, so now it's time to try something a little bit more challenging, parking over the top of another car. We all know that sinking feeling when you just miss out on the last parking spot. <laughs> but with the prototype this traffic buster, that sinking feeling is something you can rise above. Where are we going to park? <laughs> All right, Kevin, you're on your own. All right. Hey, this is a brand new we'll, car, man. We'll get you in. No problem. <laughs> Failure here would be devastating, not to mention expensive, if the traffic buster collapses onto Terry's car. You know, I think it's going to fit better if you spin it around. Kevin rotates the truck for the best angle of approach. You don't think we can get over? Drive with two hands, would you? <laughs> You guys gonna line me up? No. <laughs> you see these people across the street? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's safe to say the crowd's never seen anything quite like this. Does it look like we're gonna clear? Come on, come on in. Here it comes. Here it comes. Keep going. Forward, yeah. you're clear. Uh, Keep you go. going. It's a tight fit, but there's no question, that truck is parked. Wow, look at that. The question is, how are you going to get out? I should have brought a, I should have, I should have brought a ladder. <laughs> now let's wait for the meter maid to show up. <laughs> How cool is that? Oh wait. Oh, no. License your registration, please. <laughs> Do you think this is a legal parking job? For him or for you? Oh, is this man. considered double parking or are we okay? I paid the meter. Well, you're, you're thir definitely 13 inches from the curb. Oh, oh, yeah. the, inside okay. <laughs> the inside's okay. So far, so good. Even Terry has to admit that Kevin's design is working. Everything has absolutely worked like we hoped it would. The thing is still in one piece, incredibly. We didn't even get a parking ticket. It's just, it's just great. Everything worked. But it's too soon to celebrate. They saved the big one for last. We have one more test we're going to do. <sighs> hey, let's go. Move it. 
the team has set up an L.A. style gridlock to test the traffic buster in its natural environment. We don't have all day. Kevin's planning to leave the problem way below him by driving over it. So this is the big moment, the test of the up and over. I've got a couple of cameras that I can watch to guide me as I go over the top. I've got a kill switch here in case something bad happens. Hydraulic controls, um, five-point harness, safety helmet. We're ready to go. Just wanted to let you know we're all counting on you. <laughs> Time to bust some traffic. Driving over other cars is the Traffic Buster's most ambitious feature, and it's most dangerous. We're almost all the way up. Now, if we can just drive nice and straight. There's a real risk that the entire rig could collapse and take Kevin with it. Oh, you're getting really close to the back bumper here. Using the onboard cameras, Kevin guides the truck over the car below. Yeah, looking good. Oh, man. <gasps> yeah, looking good. Just go forward. Oh, my God. Oh. It's looking good. <laughs> There's silence in there. Yeah. Kevin, that is awesome. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean, see anything like this. It's a heart-stopping ride. You can hit the mirror on the other side. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> but he makes it. <laughs> Do you see how close he got? Oh, I myself. <laughs> that was like a baby nice. being born. <laughs> how many years off your life did that take? Oh, man, I'm like, <laughs> it's not hot out here right now at all. I'm just sweating. <laughs> That was beautiful. That was beautiful. <laughs> OK. Gonna... Look at that. They've done it. This prototype gets the green light. Totally wild. It exceeded whatever I could have imagined. This is mind blowing. We came up with the title Traffic Buster, and this thing has definitely busted some traffic today. And it's got one more trick up its sleeve. If you don't want to go over traffic, you can just spin out and take off. In just two stop-and-go weeks, our prototypers have successfully built the world's first traffic-busting vehicle. Given a few more years and a great deal more money, this prototype will be smaller, faster, and a whole lot sleeker. But for now, the team is happy with the knowledge that, if only for today, finding a parking space on the streets of San Francisco will truly be a pleasure.